Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese EUV and ASML. The research and development of lithography machines is very difficult. Although ASML is the only one in the world that can produce advanced lithography machines, ASML itself cannot completely handle the entire lithography machine components. It can only complete 10% of the parts. Other parts it needs the cooperation of more than 5,000 companies in more than 20 countries around the world, which shows how long the industrial chain of lithography machines is. China's research and development of lithography machines lags behind other links, precisely because the industrial chain needs to be gradually improved. Due to well-known reasons, it is not only difficult for China to buy advanced lithography machines, but even the components of advanced lithography machines are difficult to buy, forcing us build your own lithography machine industry chain. Previously, with the support of the domestic industrial chain, many lithography machine components such as double workbenches, objective lens systems, and laser light sources have been gradually solved. This time, the high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer developed by Harbin Institute of Technology is a the important technology of the 14 nanometers lithography machine can ensure the complex relative position between the mask table, double table, and objective lens system, realize the overall engraving accuracy of the lithography machine, and ensure the chip process after many components are integrated into the system precision is already one of the final technologies of lithography machines. And it also means that domestic advanced lithography machines are about to complete the final steps. For the chip manufacturing process, the 14 nanometers lithography machine is not limited to the production of the 14 nanometers process. Through multiple exposure technology, a process close to 7 nanometers can be achieved. In fact, neither TSMC nor Samsung has stepped forward from 14 nanometers to 7 nanometers. 10 nanometers, 8 nanometers, and other processes have been developed, and even in the 7 nanometers process, there are 7 nanometers and 7 nanometers EUV, so it is possible to use a 14 nanometers lithography machine to produce chips close to the 7 nanometers process. The complexity of the EUV lithography machine is beyond imagination, which can be seen from a few data. The EUV lithography machine uses 100,000 parts, and there are 5,000 suppliers behind it. As a manufacturer, ASML has only 10% of its own technology. This means that the EUV lithography machine is a product of the world's top technology, and it cannot be built by a certain company with a leading technology. But in the same way, thick accumulation can make thin hair. For example, Harbin Institute of Technology officially announced that it has broken through the key technology of EUV lithography machine. The entry threshold of the lithography machine industry is very high. If you want to gain a firm foothold in the industry, you not only need to invest a lot of manpower and material resources, but also need long-term accumulation and precipitation. Looking at the world, only four companies have the mass production capacity of lithography machines. They are ASML in the Netherlands, Nikon in Japan, Canon in Japan and SME in China. These companies can produce complete lithography equipment, but the process technology is very different. At present, only ASML has achieved mass production of the top EUV lithography machine. ASML has monopolized 100% of the EUV lithography machine market in the world, and customers can only find ASML to place an order for cooperation if they want to purchase. The key point is that EUV lithography machines can't be bought if you want to, ASML still needs to follow the rules, and manufacturers who are not within the scope of supply can't buy them no matter how much money they have. Everyone knows the reason. The United States has frequently revised its rules in the semiconductor industry over the years. If you want to solve the problem of lithography machines, 
you need to rely on self-research to a large extent. As Enai Guangnan, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, said, the core technology cannot be bought or exchanged. Regarding the complex research and development of lithography machines, what is the actual progress in China? In this regard, Harbin Institute of Technology officially announced that it has announced the research and development results of a high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer. Relevant information shows that high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer is a technology that can be used at 7 nanometers and below, ensuring the complex relative position between the dual workpiece stage and the objective lens system, and providing key common technical reserves to improve the accuracy of lithography machines. In other words, this technology is oriented to the measurement problems in the field of high-end equipment and it is of great significance to improve the accuracy and accuracy of lasers. If it is used properly, it may become a key technology application of EUV lithography machine when the industrialization process is realized in the future. Prior to this, Harbin Institute of Technology was still in the stage of publishing results. But the application ability and potential shown are worth exploring. It is worth mentioning that the high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometer technology has also won the gold medal of the Golden Award of the World Photon Conference. This award brings together the top domestic optoelectronic instruments, optical technology and other achievements, and the gold award shows its influence. In March last year, Harbin Institute of Technology also reported a breakthrough in the laser field. At that time, the Harbin Institute of Technology, Shenzhen, Micro Nano Optoelectronics team and major research institutions released key research results based on the field of new deep ultraviolet laser devices. This achievement provides a solution to the problem of miniaturized short wavelength lasers and brings solutions to DUV deep ultraviolet lithography machines. The mass production and marketing of any semiconductor equipment is the painstaking research and development of countless scientific researchers, especially the EUV lithography machine. It is hard to imagine how much effort the suppliers behind have put in and they have worked hard for decades to overcome difficulties. So don't look at ASML's mastery of the mass production capacity of EUV lithography machines, which actually embodies the crystallization of the wisdom of all mankind. With the support of various technologies and the integration of global industrial chain resources, the mass production of EUV lithography machines has been realized and high-end chips have been produced. Harbin Institute of Technology announced related laser technology achievements, which are closely related to the light source of EUV and DUV lithography machines. We don't know what kind of industrial future will be shaped in the future, but what is certain is that domestic scientific researchers and talents from major universities will not stop exploring. The road to research and development of lithography machines is still very long, and the industry ecology of lithography machines is also very important. There is a complete machine lithography machine manufacturer SME in China, and there are also domestic manufacturers behind the four core components of the lithography machine. For example, the double workpiece table mainly includes Hua Shuajinka to participate in the manufacturing, Guowang Optical is responsible for the optical system, and Kei Hongyuan provides the light source system. In addition, Chia Electromechanical, Guoka Precision and other manufacturers have increased their independent research and development in the field of lithography machines. Looking at the global lithography machine market, the advantages of Europe and the United States may be gone, because the rules will lead more and more suppliers to take the route of autonomy. As ASML said, failure to ship will prompt the Chinese market to accelerate independent research and development. ASML cannot decide whether to ship EUV lithography machines, even if ASML intends to increase shipments and maintain free trade. But we must also understand that the core technology cannot be bought, and the road to the future of the lithography machine industry still needs to go forward by itself.